switch team. Hello and welcome to Me and Frank at Lipsy Town with me, Frank, my wife, Rung, and everything related to the club we love. And we've got a couple of honourable mentions to start the show. Paul Jones and James Hickey. Now, I don't know if this Paul is the guy we met at Schiphol. We had a good chat about Ipswich. It could be him. If not, whoever it is, Paul Jones, James Hickey. Welcome to the Tractor Boys Social Club. And also somebody called James B. We met him at the Black Horse after yeah. the Middlesbrough game. He could have subscribed too. Not entirely sure, but he sent a message saying that he enjoyed the chat and so did we. Now, relegated Rotherham and fired Liam Richardson and replaced him with the scouser Steve Evans again. He previously managed the Millers from 2012 to 2015. I think they've got about three or four more games to play and the next one up is against Birmingham City. So that should be interesting. And Gassam... He had me, Burton, uh, Ro Burton Albion player these days, has scored nine goals in 29 appearances. He's a 23-year-old who um, succumbed to an injury with town and then eventually went out on loan, and he's doing rather well. And there is a, a theory that maybe if Kiefer Moore goes back to Bournemouth, he could replace him. Well, we'll have to see. And remember Ben Morris. He was a striker that I really uh, enjoyed watching. He's 24 years of age now, but he's doing rather well for himself with Detroit City and has scored seven goals and 35 appearances for the club. He had, um, yeah, he had two uh, anterior uh, cruciate ligament injuries and one, the second one, was in training in February 2019 and sadly we never saw much of him again. But uh, I wish him well. I think he was a great kid. And I think if it wasn't for injuries, he would be a regular member of the Ipswich Town squad by now. Anyway, the predicted final league table from Opta, which has been produced on the BBC, is interesting because it uh, says that Leicester will win with 95 points. They have an 84% chance of autobiographic promotion. Ipswich would be second on 93 points with a 62% chance of promotion. And Leeds United, shockingly, in third place with 92 points and a 43% chance of automatic promotion. And look how crazy this is. Southampton, fourth place, 89 points, 11% chance of promotion. Well, what do you think about that? Well, do you think it's accurate? I think it, the only accurate thing of this amazing championship season will be the end result, whatever that will be. And I'm just hoping, just hoping beyond all reasonable hope, perhaps, that Ipswich can turn things around having succumbed to two uh, draws at home, two away games, but a two-week break I think will be very helpful for town, an advantage against uh, Leicester, Leeds and Southampton. I see uh, Southampton coming in like a racehorse on the blind side and they could take one of those uh, automatic promotion places if they win all the games, as Cruncher alluded to the other day. I made a mistake, uh, Gary Lineker. I suggested you got it wrong. It was me that got it wrong. You've got four games. We've only got three. So if you win them all, you could be even champions. So we'll have to see. It's going to be an enthralling couple of weeks and a nervous couple of weeks for all town supporters as we watch with bated breath what happens to Leeds United and Leicester and Southampton in the meantime. OK, we'll end it here for the moment. Thanks for tuning in as always and subscribing and leaving your comments. We appreciate every single one of them. And take care. And what we say, darling, up the town!